being human is the biggest privilege how every human is different and why does it matter let's suppose uh, nature started creating humans just like other organisms and nature was experimenting with different kinds of cells tissues and proteins and what not to create different creatures on earth nature started creating this thing inside our cell called dna which makes us different from each other and similar as well at the same point we are 98.8% similar to a chimpanzee 94% similar to dog and see how different we look and we are just 0.01% different from other humans think about our dna as a book which is basically a book of life it is opened when the first cell of the body forms all the way when it is burned so nature uses this dna to create so many of us which are different by mixing things together and putting them in this filter called earth this planet and and become survival of the fittest humans were the most afraid and most worried among most of the organisms and we started to use the most important thing that could save us from predators our brain yes to survive hence our brain is more developed uh, than many of our other organism organs in the body how creativity is innate in our dna let's talk about creativity how creativity works the use of imagination or original ideas especially in the production of artistic work do we really think from 1.4 million years when the first human existed to now we are still producing new ideas wouldn't all the ideas have already been generated then how these new ideas are being generating this is where the real definition of creativity comes to play which is slightly away from the wikipedia definition but is more practical the use of imagination to generate more original ideas by combining weird things together so what does it mean maybe this example helps once upon a time sir thomas edison were walking through his experimental lab where he was experimenting with electricity and trying to um, pass it through different conductors and metals when he used a tungsten he saw a thing that it lights up sir thomas said wow that thing is weird uh, then he thought about a light yes light is what we need in the dark and can we create it more bright and condensed then he tried it more than 1000 times to make it right thickness to of the metal to light it up so try two different possible weird things by passing the high speed electrons the electricity through a metal together was cool and sir thomas enjoys it however he thought it might also help me if i make it more bright so he invented the world's first light bulb If we see LED bulbs today then we might think he was a genius or and we don't know how he invented and came up with the basic idea and there might be 100 other ways to light up a room maybe um, even more efficient way uh, who knows uh, but yet to be discovered but as i said sir thomas liked to pass electrons uh, through the metal in his laboratory <laughs> he really enjoyed that while enjoying that uh, thing made him keep going and being creative all the way that at present the way bulb look like is absolutely genius the point here is about how creativity combines the knowledge from different aspects and makes something new the original which was already existed but now it is in the different form that it solves a very particular or specific problem uh, we have as a society and as a result of solving a problem our creativity has a positive impact on our brain it makes us more optimistic and happy because our dna has been doing it in the woods and forests from hundreds of year from lighting a fire to generating a first wheel and similar technique like sir thomas generated the bulb so this is how nature keeps us happy by mixing weird things together and create things this is how we survive thousands of years and this is what making us different from other organisms and what is making us unique Uh, from each other and why is that important our environment takes a play here we took birth and have different sensory experiences and then we die taking these different sensory experiences making us like and dislike different from each other and i'm sure very few of us can relate to sir thomas to test thousands of why to light up however why he was able to give that many tries because sir thomas was a create creator he has many other inventions under his name he had created enough things to make him inspire to create more things and the environment of creativity and generate interest in playing with instruments like similar example like bill gates he got access to a computer we might 
haven't even heard about the internet by then therefore this is a fact that each one of us on the planet is equally important to the planet maybe someone like him elon musk is necessary to taking us to the mars whenever is possible and you my friend has a different environment and sensory experiences that you love to break it maybe uh, a situation in your area of interest and create something new one of the important point that stop us from being creative is lack of action most of us think that motivation will come and then we'll start working on stuff but actually this works the other way around we do the action then the motivation arrives many of us haven't figured that out yet this is why we feel awesome right after the exams are completed we feel content we we want to start some learning something new doing something and we're excited because we have just finished something difficult and now the book of our dna is reading the chapter called give this guy some dose of ins- inspiration to create more in the end as i always say life is just a blink of a firefly in the night of this universe so my friend take that pen and write like an artist uh, by mixing things together take that situation and break it down and mix things around and have fun make sure to have fun while doing it may something comes up that will solve your problem and maybe solve society's problem and which in turn will make you happy and wealthy and then what's the bad point and it's uh, just a limiting factor is action do it do it today there is no tomorrow your uniqueness is is valuable it is valuable to the society to yourself to your family to the world and make make sure have fun while doing it if you are not having fun while doing something you are either doing it wrong or you are doing the wrong thing i'll see you in the next one